All right, guys, I'm feeling a little nuts because I just had a box opening yesterday and I'm having another box opening today. And I joked with my friend that today, December is running the adoption agency month in my household, apparently. Um, so I've got babies that were delayed for a long time popping up all at once, which is pretty fantastic. I'm not gonna lie, but it is also overwhelming. As you know, when you, there's, there's that balance, right? Because you want to spend a little time with the new doll when it comes in and make sure that you actually you know, bond or connect or you know appreciate whatever word works for you. Um, and at the same time, I cannot have this baby sit here and not open the box. And this is a very special one. Um, and, and it's partially because it's from my very favorite artist and also because um, this doll has a connection to my um, top doll in my uh, collection. So let's go ahead and open it. Um, I'm probably going to end up having to cut this box. Um, most of you will be familiar with this, uh, this box opening setup as soon as I open the lid. Another Anastasia Gangalo baby. Oh my gosh, I can hardly stand it. When I say favorite artist, of course it means her talent as an artist. Let's see if the ribbon will let me lift this out without cutting the box, because what a shame. Mm, I, I hesitate to tip it over because, to, all the way, even though it's been through shipping. Probably would be safe to do that, just because I know the baby's face. Let's try that very softly. Because I can guarantee you this box has been every which way. And of course, I will do my new tradition of putting the timestamp in the description of when I get to the baby for those that prefer to skip forward. There we go. We know this box has been tossed and tumbled. All right, but when I say my favorite artist, you know, it the artwork is, of course, a huge part of that, right? But also, the experience with the artist, and I can tell you that not only is she an extremely nice person, very easy to work with, great communication, she also really cares about her dolls and their progress. And when you're dealing with international shipments, you know, things get delayed, things go wrong, and there's always this back and forth of whether you want to, um, you know, how frequently do you contact the artist and everything? Well, she actually had opened up an inquisition about where this, this um, box was before I ever said anything to her. And over the course of it, she said she filed three or four claims and two additional inquiries or, or uh, complaints. Um, in the process of trying to get this doll forward. I never knew about any of it. She just was worried and she said, you're not alone. We're in this together. I'm on top of it. And it's just awesome. But she's, she's just really from A to Z, um, a, a wonderful person. So that's why I feel really comfortable saying that she's my favorite artist. So we've got a light over here and then the window behind me, but it is a cold and rainy winter day. This doll shipped on November 4th from Russia. November 5th, well, maybe it was November 2nd from her town. And then November 5th, it had cleared Russian customs. And then we saw no updates until about December 6th when it came through, or December 7th, it came through and said, um, released from Russian customs on November 6th. And then December 10th, yesterday, showed arrived, cleared, and released from U.S. Customs at JFK in New York, and had been handed over for further delivery, USPS still showed that um, the origin country was preparing the shipment. So never, and then up until an hour before she arrived, still never showed in the country. And then all of a sudden, I checked the tracking on the Russian tracking website, and it said delivered. And I went over to USPS, and sure enough, it was delivered. So, like, surprise, yay, wow, and crazy all at once. All right. So let's get to it. 
so um, so happy that she made it safely. And it's another girl. Also, box opening stunning and chocolate. So. So we have a brand new box of chocolate, as I, you can see. And then here will be her paperwork. We'll open that at the end. Okay. All right, and then we have two boxes of um, little gifts for the baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what, let me go check on that real quick. Jack was opening one of my Amazon packages. That's what that tearing was. It didn't register that I had not given him anything. So, all right, so we're back. He, he now has a, a, a paper bag from the grocery store. Oh my goodness. All right, look at this outfit. So we've got bunny shoes for my little bunny. So these are really cute. And this gorgeous headband. It's a leather, a leather tie. And then this outfit, if you watch my box openings, uh, when I opened Veda, uh, which is my Amelia sculpt, she had this outfit as well. And the artist photos, um, she took photos of the two babies together in her nursery, um, both wearing this this outfit, um, like you know, like little sisters, and that definitely played into feeling like, hey, maybe they need to be together. Not just the outfit. Uh, the, the, the two sculpts are my two favorite sculpts, Amelia and this sculpt. And um, to have my two favorite sculpts from my favorite artists is, uh, is a good good choice for me. Um, and the box has popped. The joints have popped. It's okay. Alright, and so we've got our second personalized box of goodies. I love, I just, I love her presentation. I think that's become pretty clear. Oh, this joint pop too. All right. Do we have, I hear rattling. Okay, this is a blue version of the pink one that was a bunny that came with Amelia. And oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I love this. Wow. So it is, to me, it looks like it is the very, um, very slightest bit blue, like a powder blue. And it is, um, it's a one piece, but it's got like the faux shirt on top. It's, let's see who, the Laran Hinha, Laran Gina. Someone will know how to pronounce that properly. Size one month. The detail. It's got the ruffled collar, little buttons on the sleeves that are like kind of pleated. That's beautiful. And this girl, and I love blue on babies. Oh, we have an extra magnet in here, <laughs> probably a mistake. Here's her little um, dummy, 
It says kiss with the two little birds. And another beautiful headband. really pretty. So that's that outfit. We are down to the beauty of the hour. So I'm going to take her off of here and then we'll turn a little bit. Oh, there's one more gift. I bet how much how much should we bet that it's more chocolate bars? Oh man, she is keeping me supplied. Let's put this over here. Should we take a peek? chocolate, I think because it's a gift and it's magical and it's from far away, doesn't seem to be that. <laughs> Here, Jack. Yep. More chocolate. Another three pack. This one looks like good. Maybe a red wine. And we'll have to see what they are. But you didn't come here for the chocolate. Maybe you did. sit on the floor today. That's why we're fiddling with positioning and stuff. I I turn this a little bit and then lower her down a bit. We should be good to go. Yeah. There we are. Okay, so another gorgeous bunting. Leader Kids. Same one her sister came in. And as you know, if you watch the other ones from Anastasia, the, the face is never covered. So once we open this bunting up, there she will be. So we're going to go ahead and, and, um, and just go for it. I know her eyes are covered, so... So excited to meet her. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna try not to talk to her. <laughs> Sweet baby. All right, let's lift her up. I'm sure you already see the sculpt. Gosh, she's gorgeous. Oh, it's a bonnet. Beautiful knit bonnet. It's Lulu. I cleared my Lulu collection to make room for her because the two of them together, Lulu and Amelia, from the same artist made with the same skin tones is just um, gonna be so nice for photographs. She's gorgeous. Let me just, I just wanna straighten her hair. Nice thick head of hair, very much the same hair color as Amelia. A uh, little bit of a different hair color, I mean hairstyle. Nice, same nice length. Wow, she's gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's see, uh, maybe get a tad closer for you. There she is. She is absolutely perfect. So far, I, so far. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's gorgeous.
she's real. Another real baby has been delivered in a box. She has a like a capillary, like red, and you can see on her right eyelid here, and a blemish up on the forehead, another different blemish above this gorgeously painted eyebrow. Of course, the mottling and veining, which you'll be able to see the details much better when we're in, when we have a sunny day. Uh, and the, the light is like right here. I'm wondering if I should dim it just a little bit. This is, that's pretty low. Well, anyway, so pretty. You won't see every detail, but you can see how gorgeous she is. Oh my goodness, beautiful girl. And that really nice velour sleeper. Let's let's um let's see a bit more of her though, shall we? And then I wanna and I wanna put her next to Amelia for you guys. Oh, she's got the cutest frilly socks on. It is to die for so this is like it's like a cream color let's see you see her rooting that beautiful full head of hair and it's like silk just blows me away the talent absolutely blows me away I really want to do that. I want to be able to do this. You know, I know that you're talking about like years of time to learn and I don't even know where to start even given all of the resources on YouTube and forums and things like that. It's like very daunting to even know what color palette to start with. But man, imagine being able to do this. It must be so magical to be able to create a doll like this. Oh my gosh. See your fat little Lulu feet. I mean, every detail is perfect. The veins, the mottling, the blushing, the creasing. So the light hits hits her feet. It's funny, we always I always feel compelled to talk about the poor lighting. I I want does it get tiring to hear um channel creators talking about the lighting all the time? I I I've been curious about that. Look at these beautiful legs. I don't think I'm going to take these sleeves off. This is a, um, a really nice onesie bodysuit. <gasps> Let me pick her up. She's perfect. Wow. See if we can't um, put Veda in right next to her. <clears throat> Let's put your little sock back on, girly. Oh, well, I've named her. I don't have a middle name for her yet, which is like so funny. The whole like name, middle name thing. But it's kind of a requirement, like I have to. I guess I can. So her, um, I'll tell you her, her first name. I'm pretty decided on. Well, I'm going to wait. I'm going to 
give it 24 hours because I want to make sure, but I'm, I'm pretty, I've been calling it, calling her this name already, but I'm just going to give it 24 hours before I announce the name. And then eventually, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see it if you're into that kind of thing. Um, and then otherwise, I'll mention it next time I bring her on. So let's look at her paperwork first before I get data. Um, a lot of you are already going to be familiar with, with the sculpt I already mentioned. It's, Jill, it's uh, Lulu by Joanna Kazmierczak. So let's just take a look at her, her documents. So this is her photo. So lovely. Here's Anastasia's card. Dolls from the bottom of my heart. You can find her on Instagram and Facebook. And Lulu number 363 out of 2100. Just the back inside of the holder. We'll wrap that back up later. Let's get let's get um, Amelia. Oh, and I can get both of their bunnies too. Reunited. <laughs> we'll get their bunnies another time when they're in their bunny outfit. Two different sculpts, um, really almost polar opposite sculpts in terms of like the features, right? So, um, and I'd noticed this before, the lips on Lulu are so full and her nose is very um, full, right? It's not big, it's totally proportionate, chubby cheeks. Now Amelia's got the little cheeks here. Um, She's got this little button nose and she's so delicate. There they are together. So we're gonna have a lot of fun with that. Let's see, yeah, their hair is very much uh, similar color. Here they are, my two um, Joanna Kesmer Jack dolls both reborn by Anastasia Gangalo, who is a, um, a master and prototype artist out of Russia. And you can find her, like I mentioned on Facebook, I'll typically, uh, um, Instagram is my pre preferred way. And I usually will put a link to her profile down in the description box below. So thrilled. I don't think that she watches these, but in case, thank you, Anastasia. I will be sure to thank you directly as well. All right. Much love, guys. Another long video, but uh, we'll be back before too long. Sending out a ton of love. Very happy day. Bye for now.